this is just a more technical follow-up, I guess. Not really technical, but um, I have an input sine wave of 530 hertz, output sine wave of 530 hertz going through the SPI deck. Uh, again, with the sequencer, I will show what happens if you change the sample rate. It's pretty dramatic with like a little bit less. Yeah. Okay. As you see, you see as it steps through, sample rate changes. Nothing else is being done to the signal except the sample rate is being changed. The base sample rate is 100 kilohertz, and um, that actually means I don't have to have, and you'll notice there's no, no filter or anything, and I didn't use the filter in the PSOC yet. Um, that's the next step, but I just wanted to get this working. Um, so now if I add distortion. See that the distortion is one half of the rate of the. It's one half. It's um, an octave down, basically. It's one half of the rate of the uh, incoming audio signal, which is by design. So we gotta just turn that up. So now uh, I will add the bit drop out mask. So there, you see the, the, at the highest settings, the bits, so the sample rate is not being changed anymore, now it's just what percentage of the bits are being masked out. When you see the sample rate doesn't change, just the appearance of the waveform. You can add some of the lower level distortion. Faster. As you see, if the upper bits are dropped, you get a perfect square wave minus high pass filter effect of the output. That's an octave down. Still change the sample rate as well. And the input signal is not changing, it's just being affected by the sample rate. Uh, the bit mask and that octave down effect that I was just talking about. You can see that the formerly incredibly annoying sound of the pure sound wave, sound wave. Suddenly become quite musical. Mm -hmm. 
plan on adding um, a gating function. I just didn't have any um, extra outputs. I didn't want to hook up more equipment. That's my PSAC based, very simple ADC DAC project. Yeah.